Tonight I'm going to be making one Nigerian classic stew called Ayamase. Ayamase is a green chili stew made with green chilies and it is one uh, western part of Nigerians uh, delicacy. It is a combination of different peppers. Now you could choose and marry what kinds of peppers you have but they must be green in color. Here I have uh, poblano pepper, I have green bell pepper, I have jalapeno, I have scotch bonnet, I have serrano chili and I have hot Thai chili. Every one of these peppers are hot, except for this that is slightly sweet. Now, if you don't want it too hot, please take, uh, take away the seeds or veins, and then you're gonna have whatever heat level you can tolerate. But this here has been blended into this. What I did was blend, and then I strained the liquid. The key to this is palm oil. You have to have the right, fresh, qual good quality palm oil, because if it's not good, if it smells wrong, your food is gonna be ruined. Here I have sea salt and then this is a combination of this pepper like I already mentioned. I have chopped red, uh, red onion, I have hard boiled egg, ground crawfish, locust bean which we call iru, then I have no cubes, Nigeria, Nigerians can't do without kobuyon. In here I have a combination of three kinds of meat, I have beef shank, burnt cow skin, I have beef tripe. This I cooked with a simple blend of my seasoning called Priscilla's All Purpose Seasoning. Now this stew here is made and served over rice, as you're going to see. My name is Priscilla and welcome to Quick and Tasty Foods. Let's get cooking. So to make ayamase, like I already mentioned, we use palm oil. In this pot, I have put in one and a half cup of palm oil, covered it, brought it to a medium heat and allowed it to bleach. The bleaching takes about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on the quantity of oil, how hot is your oven. And so, guess what? I'm gonna dunk in my peppers. That's the first thing I wanna saute right here. That's the sizzle you wanna hear. Now, you don't wanna over bleach these peppers, uh, over bleach the oil. I recommend you bleaching it to up to 60% because anything more than that is gonna start smelling like I have this smell of petroleum that I don't like. So you wanna be careful not to over bleach. So while the pepper stews for like a minute or two, I'll go ahead and dump in my meats. The beef tripe, the beef shank, and burnt cow skin all goes down then I stir this sauce is made this stew is made with less liquid so the more pasty it is the more tasty then I'm gonna put in some crawfish just say about two tablespoons the iru drives it home. I'm telling you, this is what makes it classic. You can't get these things any, any and any place. Now, once you put your iru, go ahead and put the next seasoning, which of course is our nor cube. Any cobion of your choice will do. Some people use Maggi, some use Royco. There are tons of cobions in Nigeria, but this is my preference. I'm only using two of these and I want you to know, be careful when you use cold bouillons, they, they have lots of salt in them. So salt is always the last thing I add in for two reasons. If I taste it and find out that it's very salty, that it's salty enough, then I won't have to add it. And guess what? I'm going to add a little bit of sea salt. A little hint of this uh, green liquid chili. Remember, this is a green uh, uh, stew, so you don't want to use any other liquid. I use same thing. Now, if I don't have this, I use the stock of the meat that I, I you know, I had just pre-cooked. So I'm only going to add a little tab of this. 
Now you may not want to, but I do because I want it to stew for five minutes and it's gonna need a little uh, liquid to do that. This is how we taste food in Nigeria. We don't use spoons, we just go like this. Unbelievable. Is there anything like smell vision This is awesome. And guess what? I cover and let it go on a medium heat for five minutes. In the meantime, this food here, this stew here is served over rice. And everybody knows how to cook rice. Just in case you don't know, Nigerians like long grain brown rice. This is how it looks like. They like, this is how they like it. You can give them no other rice, they're not gonna eat it. So guess what? I had just pre-boiled, I'm already boiling away one here. The ratio is two to one. Now, I don't like my rice very, uh, very cooked. I love it a little al dente. So guess what? I used one and a half ratio to one cup of rice. One and a half liquid, one cup of rice. I wash the rice until the water run clear. Why? Because rice is starch. I don't want it very thick. I, I don't want it dense either. I want it fluffy. And that's what I have done here. And what I do is I use fork and I fluff the rice. I covered it and I brought it to, I let it simmer for say about 10 to 15 minutes. And here we are, my rice is cooked. I wanted the flavors of this whole chilies to marry together. Then I drop in my hard boiled egg and stir. So this is how it is. But guess what? I need a little tub of water. You don't want too much liquid into this sauce. The best part of it, the longer it sits, the tastier. Now you don't want to overcook it. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna let it simmer for just one more minute while I'm prepping my rice. When we plate, traditionally, this is eaten on a leaf. It's not on any kind of fancy plate. This is how it goes. You take your rice and you scoop it down here, right at the center. And you know what's funny? Nigerians don't do a lot of veggies. The best way we eat veggies is exactly as you see it here. But in my family, as much as I can, I infuse foods with tons of veggies. And guess what? I have a yamase here. I'm gonna make sure I get every bit of that meat. Burnt cow skin, a beef shank, more beef tripe, cause you know, I'm hungry. I don't know about you. Of course, one hard boiled egg. And down goes the sauce. This is how it goes down. Classic. Mm. Mm. Oh boy. Can't go wrong. You think you know Nigeria? Stick with me and I'll show you more. Ayama say, classic. And just so you know, the more you cook this chili, the less spicy it becomes, as opposed to what you think when you see it raw. It is not that spicy, but it has a right amount of kick that will keep you going for seconds. So you stick around while I keep enjoying this, okay? Thanks for tuning in. Quick and tasty food. Classic Ayamase Yoruba food. Ekpe, ajinyo!